Good morning, Floss Tube. I am Tamara. I am PD Stitcher here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And this is my channel about cross stitch. Um, Milo is making a small appearance over here, and apparently that is Buster at the door. I'm not sure I'm going to let both of them in at the same time. That could be it could be cause for chaos. Um, it is a bright, sunshiny day here in South Carolina. Um, we haven't had many. But it, we've had a couple, and so it's another bright, sunshiny day. It's a little chilly here. I'm looking forward to the spring weather coming back. We had spring weather a couple weeks ago, and then it got really cold. So we're supposed to have spring-type weather later this week, now that spring is actually going to officially be starting on Tuesday. So looking forward to spring being here. If you are new, welcome. I um, hope you will stick around, and if you see something that you like, that you will hit the subscribe button. Um, if you are returning, welcome back. Um, I thank you for your likes, your comments, your um, your friendship. Thank you. Let's see, what do I have today? I have my notes here, so if I look over here, it's because that's where my notes are. Um, I'm gonna have to put things away as I get them out because otherwise he will eat them. <laughs> I don't I don't want him eating my projects so um, I'll try and keep it going as much as I can without too much you know me sitting around putting things back in bags but I can't guarantee that because I'm gonna need to like I said keep things kind of put in their bags while I'm not showing them so that he doesn't destroy things um, I have a finish yay it's my first finish of 2023 um it's about time <laughs> So I have a finish. I have a few works in progress or whips. I have some plans. I have a tiny bit of stash acquisition and a lot of life stuff. The life stuff will go at the end and um, I'll try to give you a heads up on that when I get to that section so that if you're not here for the life stuff and you're just here for the cross stitch, you can scoot on out. So let's start with the finish. So the finish, I've tried to open the bags with so that I don't have to unzip. Especially if y'all are wearing headphones. I wear earbuds a lot when I'm watching Floss Tube, and I know it can get really loud. Um, so I'm trying to not have that happen. So this is Christmas Classic Sal, and it's by Story Stitches. Um, it was put out in... November, December of 2021. I did really good for the first two blocks <laughs> keeping up and then I didn't and then I slowly worked on it some last year and then I finally finished it in March of 2023. So a little over a year. But this is where it was the last time I showed you and here it is finished. I love this. This is on 32 count Joy to the World from Grace Notes Fabrics. And um, if I forget, because sometimes I'm not really good at remembering to share the fabric, it will be in the description box below. But I love it. it there's a lot of backstitch, but I think it makes it. I can't imagine like Karen without the backstitch. It really just. It makes it makes it. I'm. I don't think everything needs backstitch. I don't think every project needs backstitch, but this one did. So, there it is. My first finish of 2023. I think. I think I'm gonna have it made into a pillow. Notice I said I'm going to have it made into a pillow. I. I don't sew. I need to learn how to sew. <laughs> if you have good recommendations for learning to sew, because it would have to be hand sew. I don't own a sewing machine. And I don't want to invest in a sewing machine if um, I'm not going to sew. <laughs> I might, like if I might try one or two things and then never touch it again. I, I don't want to invest in a sewing machine if I'm going to do that. That's my, my one and only finish. So now, some works in progress. The first one is my full coverage focus for this year. And it was also my full coverage focus last year. And it is my oldest whip. This is Christmas 2. The artwork is by Ciro Marchetti, and it is charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. This is 
is what it's supposed to look like. And here, is where it was the last time I showed you. And got hanging threads because yes, I park and it makes sense to me. So I've started on this page right here and gotten down a couple of blocks lower and working through here. So I haven't I think I've had maybe 1,500 stitches this month, and those are tent stitches. So when I do this for challenge groups, I tent stitch this one two over one, and this is on 25 count easy grid. So a tent stitch only counts as half a stitch in any of my challenge groups, so it's um, it takes me twice as many stitches, but I do get a good bit of progress. So my goal on that is to eventually finish it, it's going to take me a few years, but, you know, if I don't work on it at all, it'll take me even longer. The next one is my um, travel piece. This is the office from Stitch Aria on Etsy. Here is what it's going to look like. And here... is where it was the last time I showed you and um, I did take this on our trip we went to Boston last weekend and I'll talk more about that in the life section and I've also taken it to a couple of my daughter's soccer games because I'm on this block of it's supposed to be like a chalkboard and there's gonna be a lot of backstitch writing on it but right now it's just a block of 310 so um I'm just working on that at soccer games because I can just stitch but obviously I'm not getting really far and I'm trying to get the tie done but I don't like working on this at soccer games because I have to count and think and so I did work on this while I was traveling you know waiting in the airport for the plane I could not stitch on the plane because I spread out and and we it, it was only a two and a half hour flight and we hit turbulence there and back so I it was all I could do to just focus on my Kindle and reading without, you know, feeling like I was going to lose my mind. But So I've gotten all of this. This was not here at all the last time I showed you, and it goes down to about here. So I've got a, another five or six lines, maybe, of black. And the tie wasn't here at all, and I finished the bobblehead and went over here with the peach color. So that it would just finish out that thread. So it's getting there. Um, I don't have very much more. I have this section right here. And then it goes. It's a circle obviously. Because I showed you a few minutes ago. And um, so I have this. And then down here. And then I think the same amount over here. So this, this part of the circle right here. So then this will be done. So this will also hopefully be a 2023 finish. This is on. 32 count color and cotton succulent and it's just a really nice neutral that doesn't detract from all the other colors in this I don't I don't use it well I, I say I don't use a lot of neutrals I actually do use a lot of neutrals I don't really stitch on any like wild fabric but I like color so I don't I don't tend to stitch on like just tan I want it to have a little bit of modeling, but this one, there's so much going on in this whole project that it needed more of a muted background, I guess. So my next project is, um, oh, I forgot to mention back when I finished Christmas Classic Sal, that was one of my whip go calls for March. So one down, one to go. <laughs> and I, so far I'm keeping up. I've done all of January's whip go calls both of February's whip go calls and then half of March's. We're halfway through March, so I should be able to get the other one done between now and the end. So that's good. So my next one is Winter Wisdom from Cottage Garden Samplings, and it is housed in my butterfly or moth. I'm not sure if these are butterflies or moths, but it's pretty. Garon Totten Bags bag. And this is where it was the last time I showed you and I'm sorry 
I thought I had pulled apart the Velcro, but it went back. And here is what it's going to look like. Now, when you look at the, this, is deceptively small. <laughs> When I when I was getting this, I thought, oh, this is this is not that big. I can I'll be able to stitch this in you know, a couple of months. No, no, this is actually deceptively small. It is much larger than this, but um, I love this. This is the first one of the Songbird series that I'm working on. My goal is to do all of them, and here is where I am. So I have, I've, I've finished the key, I, that was not there before, and I started doing more of the little snow hearts, and I finished filling in this um, pine cone. So I have to do all of the wisdom, the word wisdom, some more of the trees, the little house, the cottage, um, finish the birds, because I think he would like another leg. And I need to finish the branch. And then, yeah. This is on 32 count color and cotton harbor gray. As you can see, it's, it, this is much bigger than what that picture looked like on the, um, on the cover for the cover photo. So, yeah. If I put my mind to it, I could probably, you know, get some more progress in this. My mind's not really been in it much lately, so it's get, it's getting there. Everything's getting there. Some progress is better than no progress, so, yeah. and this is going to be a very short video because I haven't worked on much. I have one more whip. I just started working on this this month, yesterday. Um, my goal for March was to hit all the projects that I have that I did not touch in January, February. So this was another one I didn't touch in January, didn't touch in February, so I'm trying. I think I have two or three others that I need to get to. And I apologize, my eye was like sprawled out over there, so we're gonna, you know, he's like all in all his, like laying in the sunshine glory on the bed over there, so. Um, so this is winch, um, Welcome Winter. Like I said, it's been wintry feeling here, so I might as well embrace the winter and work on some winter projects. Uh, this is the cover photo. Again, deceptively small. <laughs> uh, ignore my naked nails. I was going to put some polish strips on them this morning and just didn't get to it. And here, is where it was the last time I showed you, which was probably during my whip parade at the end of 2022. And here's where we are now. I finished this part of the scarf, started working on more of this snowman's body, did this, finished this part of the scarf, and then I'll work down into some of the stripes for the for the scarf on this side. I'm planning to work on this a little bit more today and then um, I'll probably put this one away until that one. It depends on if it gets called for Whipco for one of the next few months. Otherwise we'll see it again between now and the end of June because like I said every three months every quarter I'm trying to hit all of my projects and get a little bit of stitches on all of them unless they've hit their goal. My goal is to put 2,500 stitches in each project this year, and then once I hit that for all of them, I'll start back and do them again. Some projects like Christmas 2, even if I hit the goal, which I have already, it's not going to get put away. Others, once I hit the goal, they'll get put away until everything has hit their goal. Um, so This one, it might take me a while to get to the 2,500. <laughs> So we'll probably, we'll, we'll be seeing this one again. And this was on 32 count picture this plus Oaken. So again, I say I don't do a lot of beiges, but this was on another beige. But tan. So those are my, those are my whips, my goals, or my plans. 
And like I said, I have one more whip go goal, whip go goal to meet for March. I don't know what that was. It must have been a dream because he started looking like he was trying to run. And that is to get 500 stitches into um, Rainbow Row, which I started in February. So I've got to get 500 more stitches put in that. So I'll work on that probably the sometime this week, maybe the, maybe next weekend. And then um, I have a new start. I want to do Liberty from Pickle Barrel Designs. I want to start that. I don't know when I'm going to start that, but I want to start it in March. So it may be March 31st, but I want to start it in March. And then um, stitching acquisitions. I don't have much. I just have one piece. It came, yes, Friday in the purple package. So this is from Sammy J from Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery. And this is the Postman, which is the fourth one in the Snowman collection from Cottage Garden Samplings. Is it? I love the Cardinal. I love Cardinals. I just love this. He's so cute. I love his roundness with the round wheels there and his roundness. It's just very, I love it. And I'm a big snowman person. So. That's all I have for stitching stuff. So if you are just here for the stitching, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you soon. If you are interested in life stuff, here we go. <laughs> so, um... I mentioned that I went to Boston last weekend. My daughter, who runs, had a meet. She was competing in the national indoor meet in Boston. And she was going to do the 5K, which is 3.1 miles on an indoor track. An, an indoor track is 200 meters, so it's 25 laps around an indoor track. And she started off pretty good. And then she, I was, so it was just her and I from our family. So I'm sitting in the stands watching her, and she's getting slower and slower and slower. And, and, you know, sometimes races are like that. You don't have a good race, and that's okay. I wasn't mad. I was a little concerned because that's not how she normally runs. But she just kept getting slower and slower. And at one point, she kind of looked up at me, and she she just had this deer-in-the-headlights look. Like something wasn't right. And she's done that before when we were, right before we found out that she has celiac, and um, she was getting sick every race because she was eating gluten, not knowing that she couldn't eat gluten, she would give me that deer in the headlights look because she didn't feel good during race. She was feeling sick to her stomach and stuff. So, but I knew like we, we were very careful in Boston. We went to restaurants that were gluten free and made sure she, she ate really, really, really well for her celiac. So I knew it wasn't that. Or I didn't, I, I was fairly certain it wasn't that. So I was just like, you know, you can do it. Keep going, keep going. And she got to lap 17. She started lap 17. And I'm watching her. So the track obviously is an oval. I'm on this side, the far side of the track. And she's going around this curve. And she gets about midway to the curve. And she just stumbles and collapses on the inside of the track. Like laid out, passed out completely. And my heart sank. I didn't know what was wrong. I've never seen her do that. I've seen her kind of lay down at the end of a race because she's tired. This was not that. This was, she was passed out. And I was so scared. So I, I stood there and watched as, you know, the race was continuing. There were still several more laps in the race for everybody else. And Medic ran over to her. The trainer went over to her. Eventually, they were. she was able to sit up. And kind of show them which where about where I was sitting and I kind of got there when they started looking for me I kind of waved to say hey I'm over here and the trainer came over to get me so he could take me out into the infield with her and um, so that was very scary she just didn't have any energy she literally ran out of energy so got her home got her back to the hotel and um, got her food and and because her race was at five-ish in the evening. So and we were flying back home the next morning. So I was like, let's just go to the hotel. We ordered in food and then, actually no, we had ordered in food the night before. That night, there was a grocery store right next to our hotel. We went to the grocery store, got some things that she could just heat up in the microwave that were gluten-free and for me to eat. And then um, 
the next morning we flew out early at like 8 a.m. So we were home by we were home by noon because we flew into Charlotte, which is another two and a half hour drive. So we were home by like noon, one o'clock. So then she now has, she went to see her trainer on Monday, her athletic trainer, and he said, I want you to see a cardiologist. So we got an appointment with our primary care on Tuesday morning, and um, now we have a cardiologist appointment for the beginning of April. And until then, she's not allowed to run. She can't bike. She can't do anything. Nothing physical. No physical activity. And that's hard for her because she does not sit still ever. <laughs> so that was that was our trip. That's why on the way home, I, I couldn't focus to stitch at all. <laughs> um, I've not really focused to stitch much this week once we've been home. I just... I can't. <laughs> my, my brain is in four million other places and while stitching normally is my calm, I'll start stitching and I get sidetracked. And, or I'll stitch like 30, 35 stitches and then need to get up and do something because I just can't. I, I guess I've gotten it from her. I can't sit still now. Usually I can sit. I can sit for hours and just cross stitch, but now I'm, I'm struggling to sit still. And so, um, that's that's been the biggest part of my last couple of weeks. Um, my youngest started soccer. She's playing on the varsity team, and they've had a few games, and she's doing pretty good. Um, except she got hurt Monday in her game Monday evening, and didn't get to play Tuesday or Friday in those two games. So it's 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 been wild here. Um, looking forward to some some healing if you if you are a praying person and you want to pray for healing for my children I would appreciate it if you aren't a praying person but you just want to send good vibes I'll take those too um we just you know healing and hopefully she's going to get to play in a couple of her soccer games this week they've got four scheduled for this week which is a little crazy um, they have one Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Friday so I think her trainer is keeping her out on Monday because it's not a region game. It doesn't count. It counts in the standings, but it doesn't count towards like trying to get into the playoffs and stuff. Region games are Tuesday and Friday, so he wants her to be able to play in those. So she's going to probably sit out tomorrow and maybe Wednesday too. She might play Tuesday, not Wednesday. I don't know. But that's been my life. My life has been dealing with injured children. And um, just trying to not lose my mind. <laughs> I've, I've felt like, you know, I can't take a whole lot more <laughs> without losing my mind. Um, thankfully, I have, you know, a good support system. My, my work people are great. They've been very supportive. Um, my boss has been great when I had to call him Monday night and be like, Hey, I know I just took Thursday and Friday off to go to Boston, but I need to come in late tomorrow because I have to take her to go see her doctor before we can get a referral to the cardiologist. And he was like, you know what, go take care of your kid. So not all bosses are like that, and I'm really, really blessed that mine is. Um, so I've got a good support system. My kids have a good support system. But it's a lot. <laughs> It's a lot. So hopefully between now and two weeks from now, I will get some more stitching in. I don't know when. I don't know how much. Um, on the evenings when, when we have soccer games, I don't get a lot of stitching except for like a couple of lines on of the black chalkboard um, for the office piece. So I don't know. I need to figure out how I can focus at soccer when she's doing warm-ups and stuff because I, I don't watch warm-ups. I don't care about warm-ups. I barely care about the game if she's not in it. So, like, this past week on Tuesday, she didn't play. I went to the game because I was her ride, so I didn't want to drive all the way there and then drive home and then drive all the way back to pick her up because they didn't have a bus. So, I took her, I stayed, I came back home. It was not the same. The game is not the same when she's not playing. It's not that I don't like the other girls on the team. It's just not the same. So, I don't have as much invested. So maybe, maybe this week for the, I know she's not playing tomorrow and it's a game that's an hour and a half away. So I'm probably going to take her to the bus and say, I'll see you when you get home. I might get some stitching done tomorrow night while I wait for her to get home because they'll get home late. So all 
that rambling to say, y'all, I hope y'all are getting much more stitching done than I am, and that um, everybody at your house is happy and healthy, and y'all just keep stitching. Bye, y'all.